phrase him just to make sure that I covered everything because I didn't show you the slides. So again, we see here that we have the zip phrase viewer in system manager and phrase SM. Okay, they show you first the trace viewer and I remind you here that you need to first configure the viewer if you want to see messages and you do it in zip trace configuration select your session manner and click on read and then you get to see you get to read the current configuration and then you go to trace viewer specify your, the, the time range where you want to see messages select again your session manager and then you get to see messages hopefully and they're opening up one of the messages here. That's fine, beautiful. They are showing you here that's okay with that uh, to receive that 401 and authorize. Not only with Razer messages, you probably saw it with invite, subscri subscribe, with every messages. Every every message receives at the very beginning a 401 and authorized. And then the second message goes through because it has an authorization uh, header. Ah, this page actually I haven't showed it to you. User registrations, it shouldn't be probably here in the middle of this. But user registrations is a place where you could see all of, your, you, all of the users registered right now to your session manager. Let's go there in lab one. If I go to your lab and I go to the session manager menu and then system status towards the bottom you're gonna see user registrations. Yep. Found it? Yep. And you're gonna see right now that in your session manager there are three users registered. Right? Those three users. And take a look at this. These users only have a primary session manager. They're only registered to a primary session manager. They don't have a secondary session manager and they don't have a branch session manager. Only a primary. Another thing I can tell from this is that these phones are not yet AST devices. AST stands for advanced SIP telephony. And that happens, I mean, an, a phone is an AST device when it's associated with CM. Right, there's no CM set. There's no CM right no. now in the picture, so there's, this is not an AST device. This is a kind of a simple zip phone right now. Later, when we associate with CM, you're going to see that automatically there is a check mark here for those are, devices. Are there instances where even after CM is, I think I know the answer to this, so I'm kind of asking an answer, but um, we have CM connected obviously at our job, and sometimes we see devices that still do not have that check mark on, and they're usually like a Polycom B179 conference phone. That sort of thing because you're not supposedly in the via device. Exactly. Is those will gonna be those will have basic functionality and won't be able to grab features from the via okay. CM. But not proprietary of So that so you see those yeah. with no AC device check marking. Okay. Another thing you can tell and right now it won't have a lot of information, but if you click on show if you click on show and you go to registration under event subscriptions, you have no subscriptions because the phone is not yet subscribed to any event. It couldn't. You saw the phone trying to subscribe to the Avaya CM feature status and it couldn't. Later, when the phone is associated to CM, and if you want to see if the phone subscribed to those five events, this is a good place to, to check that out instead of tracing. You could come here and be like, oh, okay, the phone actually subscribed to the five events, so that's a good phone. Yeah. Advanced SIP telephone. Advanced SIP telephone. Okay. And Avaya is actually now calling the phones that are not advanced SIP telephony SST phones, which is simple SIP telephony. <laughs> and I, an SST phone, simple SIP telephony, is a phone that has no features coming from CN, pretty much. So I'll come back here to the same page later when we have the phones as AST devices. Okay, let me go back to the slides. So user registrations. And now they talk about Trace SM. Uh, let's see. Well, it gives you here a um, screenshot of Trace SM. Reminds you that it's a 
that everything works with different colors. Just some kind of basic information here to tell you that every time uh, it reaches uh, 10,000 packets, it opens a new log file. Reaching the 10,000 packets in a production environment is quick. Something that happens quickly. And when it happens, your trace stops. You know, so be aware of that. Then you have to start again. So, so it doesn't just continue. No, it doesn't. It, 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 it stops. You're like, well, what happened? Then you have to stop it and start and it again. It does keep it then if you forget to log out properly, it'll stop and quit. It, it doesn't stop the process, the trace, it just stops, the, the screen stops. And you need to start again the, the stop and start again the... So the process still keeps running. The trace system process keeps running. It's just that you don't get to see messages in, in your trace system. I don't know if that behavior changed, honestly. I don't know if it changed in 7.0. That was the behavior in 6.3. Maybe it's better right now because yeah it would be better to have the trace running all the time and simply it's just yeah. recording those like logs that. in a new log file yeah, but yeah. the behavior in 6.3 was uh, it stopped and you had to stop and start again trace the same minus h remember that it gives you help on how to different things that you could do with trace the same f allows you to set up filters if you type f and this is the new option, the D option for diagram view. Remember that you press D and you get to see one line per call. It's a call summary view where you get to see the messages just as you see them in this slide 95, page 95. And that's it. And then you have a lab where all you need to do is log in to your session manager and place a call and get to see messages. But I get. I think that all of you, right, got to log in to Trace SM and see some stuff. You will. I mean, later when something fails, <laughs> you're gonna be. I mean, during this class, you're gonna be logging into Trace SM and see what's going on. So this is what.